This is ECMA Business Channel's management update of October 16, 2014. I am Anne Kerman. The JIF, Joint Islamic Forces, have claimed responsibility for another series of attacks in Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Nigeria. As a result, oil prices have risen to yet another historic record of 250 euro a barrel. French nuclear stations are increasing production to meet energy demands in the West. In the meantime, Brazil is taking the lead in alternative fuel usage, with 80% of its cars and lorries driving on home-produced ethanol from sugarcane. After the EU demand on the packaging industry to adopt full-color pictorial health warnings on cigarette packs, now the whole tobacco industry has come to a halt. As of January the 1st, smoking will be officially banned in the European Union and the United States. Europe is swamped by counterfeit drugs from Asia. Although the quality of these drugs cannot be ensured, many people take the risk and buy drugs on the internet. Health authorities strongly warn against buying on the internet, as counterfeit drugs can be extremely harmful. The packaging industry is helping in the battle against fake medicine by implementing anti-counterfeiting technology. There are a number of cues in the carton board, similar to watermarks as used in banknotes. And there is a chip attached to the packaging. This chip identifies and quantifies the chemicals in the medicine. Furthermore, these chips can trace the exact origin and route of transport. The market share of conventional plastic packaging materials is decreasing even further. As a result of the incredibly high oil prices and globally renewed support for environmental treaties, the industry is in big trouble. On top of this, new legislation for chemicals increases bureaucracy and cost. To work around this, BASEF, DuPont and Shell are launching biodegradable materials and biofuel. It seems that investments made over the last decade in the African region are finally paying off. The latest figures reveal that the new tigers are rising fast in the global economy. Their recent success is attributed to foreign direct investment from China, India and Brazil. Also returning immigrants from Europe and the very strict public health measures to prevent AIDS add to this success. Major multinational manufacturers are now moving production out of China and India into Africa. Next week, ECMA Business Channel will broadcast a special report about two carton manufacturers that moved to Tanzania. Today, EPAC, the global trading platform for packaging material, is celebrating its fifth anniversary. ECMA's industry report talks to broker John Selmore. Congratulations with EPAC's anniversary. Thank you. What's been the impact of EPAC over the last five years? Well, it's been a huge success. Uh, we've managed to reduce costs over the past five years, and that's basically due to the efficiency of EPAC. Um, hasn't been easy. We've been through some rough years, but uh, now I think we've finally got there, and EPAC is a logical reaction to the developments in the market. Why was a trading platform necessary? Um, costs had to come down. Consumers didn't want to pay extra for brands. Marketing had lost its edge and um, the retailers were starting to squeeze their suppliers. And basically, once again, costs had to come down. Uh, that's it. How successful is your platform? Hugely. EPAC has reduced the uh, overhead cost and staff of the FMCG manufacturers, the retailers and the packaging industry. Um, Volume-wise, we actually traded 3.9 billion euros of um, material last year. And thanks to standardization, we trade a wide range of packaging material on our platform. And nowadays, we can actually broker small runs on EPAC. How did EPAC change the industry? Well, what it's done, it's created transparency. Um, let me think. Manufacturers can now look into the order books of customers and basically see demand. Um, the customers, on their hand, can check what the utilisation rates are of the cardboard manufacturers, basically see what's available. Uh, all orders are then run on straight through processes, which are hugely efficient. And all in all, this leads to a, um, a rather a large restructuring of the industry. Only the most competitive players can survive. 
How do you see the future of EPEC? Well, currently we're introducing a uh, futures market. Uh, what we want to be able to do is provide visibility to our capacity, um, show the utilisation rates now and in the future so that any gaps that are there can be filled instantly. Um, large packaging users should then be able to book and block capacity in the future and now. Um, and we're also hoping to attract hedge funds to our futures markets, uh, basically to decrease the volatility. Um, all in all, by 2016, uh, we expect to have 80% of the total packaging trade um, on our platform. And in my view, no supplier can afford not to be on EPAC. This year's ProCart and ECMA award has been given to the Champions Group. This innovative network has supported mushroom farmer De Boer in coming up with a smart and sustainable packaging concept. This packaging has drawn worldwide attention. ECMA's industry report talks to Mr. De Boer. Mr. De Boer, congratulations with your Pro Cart and ECMA award. Thank you. The jury was very impressed with your innovative concept. It combined logistical support, convenience, functionality and sustainability in one new packaging concept. Your farm in a box is distributed over the internet and through local stores. How did you come up with this innovative concept? Well, first of all, it was not just me who developed this farm in a box. Uh, we developed it with our packaging supplier. It was real teamwork. We took some money of our uh, research and uh, development budget, our marketing budget, and in no time, Peter, our packaging supplier, he created an innovation team. Innovation team? Yes, we had a designer, a marketing professional, an ecologist, an ICT engineer, and we had a logistical person. And together with them, we developed the FIB, the farm in a box. Was that difficult? Yes, it was quite a struggle actually. We had to do something as we could not afford to compete on price as we did in the past anymore. We had to get smart. Organic and regional is not enough anymore. So what we did, we were looking for something to add to our mushrooms, uh, functionality. And we found out that mushrooms, and they are suitable for delivering essential minerals to our aging population. Why did you use carton board? Carton board is soft touch. It has a strong emotional value. It's an authentic natural product and a very friendly material. And besides that, it has sufficient space to advertise and in that line to explain functional benefits of our minerals enhanced mushrooms. Wasn't it more expensive? No, no, not at all. Package, as you know, is a powerful two second advertisement space. And the intelligence in the box is personalized for each consumer. The customers, they value the experience they get from our product. Peter, can you tell us your part of the story? A couple of years ago, our company specialized in food. We became co-makers in this field by developing services and integrated innovations for the food business. Breakthroughs in nanotechnology, like RFID chips, driven by the carton board sector, make highly specialized carton packaging possible, like our farm in the box mushrooms. Why did you use RFID? RFID chips do not only contribute to food safety, but also freshness, traceability, consumer convenience. All our packaging products automatically generate shopping lists. Uh, RFID chips are really easy to attach to the packaging because they're so tiny. Here, I'll show you one. Food authorities place strict licenses on carton board manufacturers because of health precautions. Through ECMA, the carton industry has established an alliance with a food packaging technology center, not only to promote joint R&D, but also to upgrade management and staff of its members to become service partners to the agro industry. I was one of the first to graduate as a food expert at the educational program they set up, and they tested our first prototypes. Where do you see this going? Well, healthy, organic and regional food is a trend, as you know, at the moment. This combined with active, intelligent and personalized packaging, I see huge opportunities for more innovations in the, in the future. Our team, as a matter of fact, is working on something at this moment with eggs and strawberries. Multinationals already knocked on our door. 
I can't and won't say too much about it, but just wait and see. We certainly will. Thanks and good luck with next year's Pro Carton ECMA competition. See you next week on ECMA Business Channel Management Update with a live coverage of ECMA's annual conference from Istanbul.